You know what, this masking mandate uh, controversy, you should say, was bound to return, right? But this time around, it really isn't about whether or not masks are effectively protecting us against COVID-19 because the main consensus from medical experts across LA County is that they are. But this time, it's whether or not these masking mandates should come back for all indoor places across LA County. The city of Beverly Hills, one of the latest to speak out publicly against it. And of course, that's generating lots of debate across the nation even. Uh, if a mask mandate should be brought back, reinstated by the county's public health department, Beverly Hills would be included in the order. But yesterday's announcement from the city council is making it very clear that the city has no intention to enforce such an order. The council unanimously agreed upon that decision yesterday, saying that it's time to move forward as a community and to be part of the solution. It is putting the responsibility of enforcement on the county. Los Angeles is likely to resume a universal indoor masking mandate on Friday, July 29th, after remaining in the CDC's high COVID-19 transmission level for two consecutive weeks. Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer says the only way to avoid that masking re requirement from returning is to lower transmission below the high level by Thursday, July 28th, something she says is highly unlikely. Masks are already required on all forms of public transportation in LA County and in other indoor spaces like healthcare and correctional facilities and even shelters. A universal mandate would spread that requirement to all indoor public spaces, including retail stores, indoor restaurants, bars, and even schools. But some elected of county officials like Supervisor Catherine Barger are now saying it's now been more than two years into the pandemic and people pretty much know what to do to protect themselves. She is the only one of five county supervisors to come out publicly against this renewed indoor mask mandate, releasing an open letter saying, quote, they are polarizing and unenforceable, and that the county does not fully understand the costs associated with imposing masks among our children. She says, although the masking mandate wouldn't shut down businesses altogether, it would pretty, put a pretty big burden on them. And there are other things that should be done to keep COVID infections down. Barger says it really is time to move on. Others against this mandate echoing her uh, her debate as well. Now, we are expecting to hear from Barbara Ferrer on Thursday on whether or not these mandates will be officially making a comeback to all indoor spaces here in L.A. County. We're live this morning in Beverly Hills. I'm Carlos Herrera, KTLA 5 News.